So on this line, I'm going to be marking the same thing I used for my neck width, which was um, 6.5. So I'm going to mark 6.5 here, like so. And then I'm going to come out, come down by 7.5 cm, like so. And I'm going to get my ruler and connect the two. But before I do that, on this line, I'm going to mark 4.5. That would be my shoulder line. And then 7.5. Seven point five, which I marked here, that is our neckline. So that will make it easier to connect. I'm going to get my ruler now, and I'll be connecting like so. And I'll connect this to the neck with measurement as well. And I'm going to mark this shoulder line like so. So this is our shoulder line and this is our neckline. So on this shoulder line, I'm gonna be we're gonna be extending it. Everything we're gonna be marking on that line is 16.5. And the reason for that you would get soon extending it. So we just extend the line by 16.5. I'm gonna mark it like so. So everything I have on this line now is 16.5. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to mark on this line, I'm going to come up by 4 cm to get my chest line, right? And I'm going to be coming down by 4 cm as well. mark 4 cm up for my chest line and then i mark 4 cm down as well for my true bust line together i'm going to draw the line there so i'm going to draw the line like so <coughs> But on this line, I'm going to extend it to the back line. That is the two bus line. There's a reason for that later on. Okay. So this is my chest line. Right? This is my true bus line. And this is my bus line, which we have here. This is my bus line. So the next thing I'm going to be doing right now is to come out by 3 cm to get my curve to get my um, neck curve so i'll come out by angle 4.5 just the way i did for the arm o i'm going to draw my front neck now like so yeah so we have our front neckline like that so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to measure my front chest with measurements divided by four and that's 6.6 .6, right I'm going to be marking 6.6, .6. starting from the hip line, marking 6.6, 6.6, 6.6 all the way to the top of line of the paper. So 
So, having done that, I'm going to connect the 6.6 .6 that I've just marked all the way. I'm going to connect it like so. Uh, remember, that is our chest width measurement divided by 4. So, the next thing I'll be doing now is to mark is to mark my on this line we just marked. I'm going to be coming out by two cm. I'll mark two cm, right? Um, and I'll come down on this first line. I'll come down by two cm as well. So, I get my ruler. I get my ruler. I'm going to connect this to see I came out to this extension I just did. To that mark. To that line I just marked. Connect it like so. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to mark my dart measurement. So I'm going to be marking my dart as um, 6 cm. So yeah, I'm going to mark 6 cm. From that line I just marked, I just drew. So I'll mark 6 cm. So I'll connect it to this line as well. So we have our dart. So this is our dart. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to be doing now is to mark our shoulder. So to get our shoulder, right, before we start to measure, get your ruler and start from your neck point, pass through this line and mark like 22 to 23. Just Whatever you're marking, just make sure it doesn't enter into your front, your back. So I'm just going to mark like so. Just watch as I do. I'm going to make sure I'm passing through that line, right? Yeah, I'm just going to stop like that. So now I'm going to be marking my shoulder measurement. So to mark my shoulder measurement, what I need to do is to add my dart measurement. So my dart measurement is 6 cm. So now I'm going to be adding 6 cm to my shoulder um, measurement. So my shoulder measurement is 13 cm. So 13 plus 6. So that is 19. So I'm going to be marking 19 cm starting from the neck point here. So that's 19. So that's for our shoulder. So that's 19, right? So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to get where our shoulder would fall on to, where it would fall. You don't, you don't, you just don't draw a straight line, no. So now I'm going to be marking on this chest line, I'm going to be marking our chest width measurement divided by two. So our chest is measurement divided by 2 is 13.35. So I'm going to start from here, right? Take my tape measure like this. And I get to this line. I fold it. And I get to the dart line, rather. And I get to the dart line. I fold it. And then move it. And then open it. And then I mark my... 13.35 I'm just going to approximate it to like 13.4 so I haven't done that I'm going to get my ruler now and then connect my shoulder line to my chest with line <coughs> so and there we have it so the next thing 
I'm going to be doing now is to get our arm O curve. But before I do that, I'll divide what I have here divided by 2. So I have like 14. So that's going to be 7. So I come in by 1 cm. I come out, I come in by 1 cm here and I draw a line. So I'm going to get my pattern curve and draw a curve. This is going to form a basis for going to form a basis for our arm O. I'm going to connect like so. So, so the next thing I'll do, on this line, I'm just going to come down a straight line, right? I'm going to come down here straight. And then we get, and then we get our measurements for, to get our arm O curve. So on this bus line now, I'm going to be measuring 26.25. So I'm going to be skipping my darts. I'll skip my darts while doing this. So when I get to the dart, I fold it. So on the dart is 7, I move it to the next dart. Then I mark 26.25. So that is it. So I'm going to draw my curve, arm or curve. So if you feel like your pattern curve will not do this thing, just use your hand, please. So I'm going to be using my hand here. I'll try and draw it. All right? It looks funny. No. I'm going to use my hand. Draw it like so. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to mark my cutter hip, which is 21.6 21 21.62. 21 so 21.62 like so. So I'm gonna connect it. So there we have our front bodice and this is our back bodice. So this is our CF, this is our CF line, and this is our back line. So that is it basically for drafting a basic bodice. But if you want to go ahead and give it shape, then we move ahead to giving it that. So this is it basically for your basic body. So the next thing in the next class, you'll be watching, you'll be learning how to put darts into it and giving it shape. But as it is, you can cut your A-line dress, your basic dress, your flay dress, shift dress, shirt. A whole lot of things can be cut with this as it is. But in the next class, you learn how to do the, put the darts.